In this video, we're going to take a look at dividing fractions. For instance, we may have a fraction such as 2 thirds, and we're going to divide by 3 fourths. Okay, well, instead of doing this as a division problem, we're going to change it to a multiplication problem. Now, the only way we can do that is if we multiply by the reciprocal. And the reciprocal is basically taking the fraction and flipping it to where we put the original denominator as the numerator and the numerator as the denominator. Um, in this example, uh, the reciprocal of 3 fourths would be 4 thirds, where we've just kind of flipped the fraction. Um, it's the idea of dividing by 2 is the same as multiplying by half. If we were to take 10 and divide by 2, we would get 5. If we were to take 10 and multiply by a half, we would also get 5. So, in order to divide fractions, we are going to remember that we must multiply by the reciprocal. One way to remember how to work with fractions is there's a couple phrases that we use. One is called copy.flip. Copy.flip simply means you're going to copy the first fraction, you're going to change it to multiplication and then you're going to flip the section for the uh, second fraction. Some people call it keep, change, flip. Same thing. Um, you're going to copy the original fraction, you're going to change it to multiplication, and then you're going to flip the fraction on the right and then do it as a multiplication problem. Let's look at a couple of examples. Example one, we have a fraction of 5 sixths divided by 1 third. So again, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal, so we're going to um, copy or keep the first fraction, 5 6. We're going to change it to multiplication, and we're going to flip the second fraction, 3 over 1. Now we just do it as a multiplication problem, where we just multiply straight across. 5 times 3 is 15, and 6 times 1 is 6. Now always remember, with your fractions, you're either going to have to reduce to simplify, or you may actually have to turn an improper fraction such as this one into a proper fraction. If you have an improper fraction, we're going to divide up 6 into 15. And 6 goes into 15 two times with a remainder of 3 over 6. 2 and 3 sixths. Now, this 3 6 can still be reduced, so we would need to reduce that, and our final answer would be 2 and 1 half. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the dividing up process or reducing, you need some extra practice with that, um, please come and see me during tutoring time, and I will help um, with that. Uh, let's look at another example. Here we have a fraction of one-half divided by a mixed number of two and one-fourth. Anytime you have a mixed number such as two and one-fourth, you need to convert it back to a fraction or back to an improper fraction. And the way that we do that is we use something that we can call the popcorn method, only because it looks like a popcorn. We multiply 4 times 2, then we add 1, and we put it over the 4. So again, we multiply here 2 times 1, then we add, or 4 times 2, I'm sorry, is 8, plus 1 is 9, and then put that all over the original denominator of 4, 9 fourths. Again, 4, if we were to divide up, 4 goes into 9, 2 times with the remainder of 1 fourth. So, we're now going to use, um, we're now going, we could rewrite this as 1 half divided by 9 fourths. Then we use our uh, understanding that we need to multiply by the reciprocal. So we would keep the original fraction, the first fraction, I'm sorry, change it to multiplication, and use the reciprocal. Copy dot flip. So now we have one half times four ninths. It's a multiplication problem. We just multiply straight across. One times four is four. Two times nine is eighteen. So 4 eighteenths, however, we need to reduce that when you look for the greatest common factor. Um, I'm going to divide the top and the bottom by 2. 
and 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 18 divided by 2 is 9. Two ninths will be our final answer. So that's a quick look at dividing fractions. We simply turn it into a multiplication problem by multiplying by the reciprocal. Uh, and then once you find your answer, please be sure to reduce or simplify it. Um, and then if you do have a mixed number in your original problem, you need to change that mixed number into an improper fraction.